Hello from the food forest. Today everything about the fruit trees and fruit bushes we grow here at Permaculture Haven. To those who are new to this channel, we are here in subtropic southeast Queensland on the Fraser Coast. Um, started in 2014 from nothing <laughs> here on this land. Many of the fruit uh, trees and bushes I started to grow from a seed or from a cutting. Some of them are bought from nurseries. So yeah, you can see what's possible. Hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below in the section, in the comment section below for any questions or just let me know what you think about what we have, what we grow here and now let's get into it <laughs> so just around the house basically in the yeah, backyard area here i've got growing pomegranate monstera deliciosa another pomegranate that is fruiting at the moment Yellow cherry guava or lemon guava. Fate Joya, two of them here. The pineapple guava. Another lemon cherry guava or lemon guava or yellow cherry guava. <laughs> If flower and fruit permanently. By the way, many of the seeds and cuttings or sometimes also young fruit, uh, young plants are available in my online shop. Strawberry guava. Pomegranate. Another lemon cherry or yellow cherry guava or lemon guava. All of them here along the fence grown from a, from a seed. <laughs> Still in the, at the house area. Young persimmon. Some bananas over there. Dwarf Cavendish banana. And that's basically it here for the fruit trees and fruiting bushes here in the uh, around the house area. Now let's move to the food forest number one. Let's go. On the way there we have curry tree, two of them. Just going here down to the food forest area. So basically just to explain, this is the food forest number one that we basically started at first. Then we have the green space in between. This is basically for the geese here. And here is the food forest number two. And then we have another area one more area behind the chickens but now let's move on with food forest number one so now here we are food forest number one mulberry ah lime tree grown from cutting mulberry grown from a cutting let's move on star fruit grown from a seed actually fruiting now beautifully if you can see it apple tree grafted bought from a nursery banana you will see the entire row of bananas there are two different uh, varieties 
here pomegranate grown from a seed another apple grafted bought from a nursery two beautiful avocados one is from a seed and the other one is a beautiful gift from my lovely friend and it is growing beautifully fig tree grown from a cutting Arnold blood orange grafted both from a nursery recently planted and here at the back we have locust grown from a seed over there at the back there is a plum tree grafted bought from a from a nursery then we have here banana trees another banana passion fruit grapes two different varieties just recently planted another subtropical uh, plum this is there let's have a look the Plum Golf Ruby <laughs> from the nursery. Next to it, here, Sunshunashi. From a nursery. Banana. Oh. Peach tree that needs attention. <laughs> Many of them do. <laughs> Chocolate pudding, black sapoti. Custard apple, just recently planted um, after the rains. native fig another yellow cherry that needs attention as well Hawaiian guava grown from a seed like the previous one like the lemon guava as well actually covered in fruit at the moment Malabar chestnut, grown from a seed, with some fruit on it, yay! Look at the babies. Next to it here, mulberry, that is fruiting a uh, second time this season. And got already nice mulberries. A bit small because it will need a little bit more love but super yummy a little Thai white guava another yellow cherry I love them and our birds our animals do too so that's why I have so many <laughs> mango grown from a seed Some bananas here, another mulberry over here, young canister just recently planted, grown from a seed. Ah, here you can see again my beautiful star fruit. This is one of the oldest trees. more banana
and mulberry. And that's about it for here, for the food forest number one. Oh no, I will still have a pomegranate over there as well. And that's the star fruit we've seen at the beginning. And so we are here again, just right at the gate. And we move to the food forest number two. Okay, here, almond tree, tamarillo. Let's make a round here. Oh, okay, the guinea fowls want to say something too. So, they moved on. <laughs> so, we can go on with it. Delicious, super quick growing. Panama berry. Oh, and they're so yummy. This one I got gifted from someone. So, not sure if it was grown from a seed or from a cutting. Hmm. Ah, no, that's amarillo. Dragon fruit. Oh, and here I've got three of them growing in this area. These are the Brazilian guavas, which are also the size of a, um, which are also the size of um, yellow cherry guava or lemon guava and apparently super tasty so I grew it from a seed and looking really forward to try the fruit so let's move on so some popos here I've got a quite a few of them growing these ones just recently planted here here peanut butter tree pomegranate from a seed here little ones black cherry uh, black Brazilian cherries grown from a seed also one more popo star apple these are all basically recently planted but growing pretty good Another black Brazilian cherry. This is supposed to be more sweet than the, than the red one. And one more here as well. Here, um, Tahitian lime. And yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the area here we've just been through. I can grab one more Panama berry before we move on. Hmm. Now here. Cherry guava. I'm not sure if this is the red one or the yellow one. Chocolate, uh, chocolate pudding tree. Black sapoti. My wakum kumquat, a bit struggling. Hope it will take off soon. Now here, Rosellas, finger lime, lots of growth. Lots of new growth, beautiful. Oh, there is a pineapple in between. <laughs> the Silent Hill gooseberries. All of those here grown from a seed apart from the finger lime. Um, white sapoti.
little baby olive tree banana one of them flowering and fruiting another little silent hill gooseberry acerola also grown from seed i've got two of them and can you believe it this one got already <laughs> little fruit growing on them so there is the second one tiny little trees but already <laughs> starting to fruit nectarine that it doesn't look happy at all little persimmon that's actually growing again we have a second one here that is doing well too here is sour soap grown from a seed as well Kamquat, Nagami, Variety. Hope you can hear me because the guinea fowls are just going crazy. This is boysenberry with some fruit on it as well. Lychee, grown from a seed. Now I will make a turn around so we can go back and don't forget any of those. Here another lime tree I grew from a cutting, doing really well. So we have here these two huge babies that I actually, can you believe it, forgot the name, <laughs> grew from a seed. Blueberries that are not in season now. We have two of them, lots of blueberries harvested. Some bananas. Mandarin. With lots of mandarins on them. Uh, grafted. Bought from a nursery. Here Sour soap, doing very well, grown from a seed. I've got passion fruit here, the purple one. That is loaded with fruit. Oh, and already ripening. Ha! Yum! So next to it, low cut, grown from a seed, delicious low cut fruit. Let's move on, more bananas, here as well, everywhere, uh, three different varieties. Another blood orange. This is a different variety than the Arnold. Novel orange, grafted from a nursery. Another yellow or red cherry guava. Wompy. Got lots of new growth, actually, and doing very well. But no sign of uh, flowers or fruit this season yet. Next to it, more bananas and more bananas that I have to sort out because there are too many in one place. Here the ruby red citrus tree, grapefruit with lots and lots of grapefruits on it which makes me so happy because we love the 
ruby red especially like when juicing oh yum and the tree is loaded okay next to it pomelo it doesn't really look like we've got any fruit yet here lemon guava yellow cherry guava this is a delicious treat when wandering through the or working in the food forest in the gardens here Maya lemon just planted two months ago grafted bought from a nursery and already got three little lemons on them <laughs> some more bananas and yeah that's basically it here in this area and uh, food forest number two the rest of it here is um, annual garden vegetable garden and now let's move on we go to the um, quails area and the birds area where we have more fruit trees growing let's go to the birds and on the way to the birds area we have another curry tree and two young jaboticabas grown from a seed i haven't seen any fruiting fruit yet but hopefully soon <laughs> maybe next season when we are lucky let's start here in between the chicken pens the bird pens so we have a huge elderberry here and we have acquired a few of them uh, planted around the property so beautiful and just behind you can see the huge leaves the huge tree that goes from here up to there this is the mulberry that grows behind the behind the elderberry huge and now moving on here this row so this is all mulberry this is the bush lemon also really good size already there is a Malabar chestnut as well in between. So, the pigeon pea in between. <laughs> jackfruit. Beautiful size already. And we have quite a few jackfruits. So, okay. While we are here, this is already behind the birds area, the quails area. We will go to the quails and to the bantams as well very soon. But while we are here, let's move on and check this out. Chocolate sapoti, recently planted from a seed. Thai white guava. Hawaiian guava. First time fruiting, looks like. Mandarin, bought from a nursery planted three months ago already some mandaris on it young low cut from a seed another hawaiian guava flowering at the moment Here is a persimmon growing very well. Another low cut that, uh, from a seed that is flowering for the very first time this year, this season. So happy. This one is about four years old and much bigger than the mother plant that I have in the food forest number two 
So this one likes this place really well. More, let's move on. Jackfruit. Beautiful baby. <laughs> Another jackfruit. Here, native mangosteen. Bought from a nursery. The jackfruits I all got, all of the jackfruits I got gifted from someone from our swap group. So really thankful for the beautiful jackfruit trees. Okay, let's move on. In between lots of cassava, as you can see, and banana grasses and so on. Cranberry hibiscus. Here, mango, grown from a seed. Another persimmon from a seed. Here, Thai white guava, doing really well. Only one year in the ground. Uh, mulberry, that is a bit struggling. Mango tree from a seed. So basically all of the trees you can see here in this area, these are planted, yeah, the low cut planted, I think two years ago at first, and all of them planted just last year. All of the other trees you can see, except the mango. Yeah, the mango and the low cut. We planted them about two years ago from a pot, replanted. And yeah, the other ones from a pot as well, just last year. So they're progressing really well. And as you may notice, this is a hot tip <laughs> and secret to success. So you will succeed with your with your fruit trees when you want to plant them like that. So you can see basically the channels. So the soil from here has been shifted to the to the side to create a rose and lower yeah like a channels in between so when it rains the water can collect in here and the trees can can get the water they need the roots without um, sitting in in the water basically and because the soil has been shifted up and the plants the trees planted on top they got better quality soil so more of the topsoil that that is why they thrive so well um, we are in southeast Queensland the soil isn't good at all we have tried before just at the beginning just to plant it in the topsoil as it was and now it it doesn't work very well at all and you can see the difference when you plant it on a mound so this is basically like a kind of a swale type where you build the swales the trenches around um, along the contour lines so this is basically flat area so we've got the trenches and the mounds and the trees love it okay let's move on let's move on I've got a young trees <laughs> in the rings <laughs> but it's really embarrassing because you don't see it but they are there uh, I have to clean the cages so they will come you can see here I've got a tamarind that really needs urgently attention in the other ring there is a beech berry which is also there but yeah I will show you next time when I cleaned it here young low cut as well this baby needs attention so this is the Grown, I grew it from a seed 
but you have so, I have so many guavas, so I started to put, yeah, this is the Thai white. This is a tree that we considered um, dead and it's coming back to life. And we don't really know what tree is it because I got it gifted and someone didn't know about it. I've got a Brazilian cherry here in between the cassavas that wants to be harvested and will make a space for the trees in here. Here the citron. I think we are true or oh, not really. We have um, here we have a macadamia nut. We are here finished now. And now let's move to the bantams and quails. I just yesterday planted new fruit trees. So let's have a quick look what we have in here. Now, nah, hello. <laughs> okay, yellow cherry guava, lemon guava. This is just three spinach. I've got this tree that I don't know, just yesterday planted. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe some of you have idea, please, and can let me know what you think. So here, Thai white, with already first fruit on the fruits on them, but I already made a video about it. We have, I think, three or four fruit. Lots of fruit on the on the popo. Beautiful new growth. So this is the popo growing together with a lemon guava, yellow cherry guava, with some delicious fruit ready to harvest on them. Okay, this is a groomy chama planted yesterday. Persimmon here. Look, look at the all new growth. Beautiful. Growing together with a um, popo. Someone asked me why I'm planting two trees together next to each other. This is basically a kind of an experiment. And I love experimenting. <laughs> so there we are. <laughs> I basically choose a um, tree that grows up like the popo. And next to it one that I can trim and it's more bushy. So that would be the persimmon and the same here with lemon, lemon guava, which is bushy and the popo that is, it's growing, going up. Um, I can plant under the popo, I was just thinking next to the Thai white guava. I will see if I have one. And here, the black Brazilian cherry again, that is supposed to be delicious, sweet fruit. Never tried it, so looking forward. Grown from a seed. This is Moringa. The Malaysian guava that I just planted recently. And there we are. So only in this area, look at it. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fruit trees. So let's move on to the bantams. They love the three spinaches. You can see we have too many boys. You can see the poor girls with the feeders out. So the boys are going very soon to the freezer, many of them, because they are bullying my girls too much. Here, bantams, huge mulberry that we have to trim regularly. Then, 
Kurumi chama from a seed yesterday planted. Here, lemon guava. And here we have Malaysian guava. Also planted yesterday. And so I think we are at the end of the video now. So you can see happened a lot here since we <laughs> turned this piece of land to what it is now. We enjoy it every day and I would encourage you to plant fruit trees wherever you can, whenever you can. It is very easy to grow a fruit tree um, from a seed or from a cutting. I am selling seeds and cuttings from the fruit we are already harvesting or we are already growing. And if you give it a little bit of love, they will thrive and yeah, give you everything back. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment below. As I would love to hear from you. And now I will be harvesting some cassava. Look at the monsters. <laughs> I will be harvesting some cassava for tonight. So take care guys. Wish you all the best with all your projects. And see you next time. Bye bye.